Hey everybody, it's Brett here with the Tuning School, and on this Tech Tuesday, we're gonna be talking about the open loop fuel system fault that can occur on a GM vehicle. So before we get into what an open loop fault is, let's talk about the fuel system status. Now when you're tuning a GM vehicle, you can add a channel called fuel system status number one or number two. What this is gonna do is it's gonna tell you where the fuel system's at, what it's doing. What that means is it'll tell you if it's an open loop and it's not ready because it's warming up, if it's in closed loop and the fuel trims are doing their thing because you're at idle or part throttle, or if you're in open loop, accelerating or decelerating as if you were in power enrichment or deceleration fuel cutoff. Now there's something that can occur from time to time where it'll say open loop fault. This is where the computer is seeing something that it doesn't like and it actually puts it into a fault mode where the fuel uh, trims themselves aren't really making any adjustments. Now we've actually isolated this problem to specific modifications done to a vehicle sometimes. So we're gonna show you what they look like inside the scanner. We're gonna talk about the modifications that are causing it and I'm gonna show you how to fix it inside the editor. So here I have a scan file of a 2005 Pontiac GTO with a six liter in it. Now this car has a very large aftermarket camshaft. What that's gonna cause is it's gonna cause this open loop fault. Okay, so if you actually scroll through here, you'll see it in this part of the run right here, the O2 millivolts are oscillating up and down and the fuel trims are working. And you can see here for fuel system status, we're in closed loop normal, which is good. But as we move a little bit more to our right, you'll see that the fuel system status goes into open loop fault. The uh, O2 millivolts stop oscillating like they were and you notice that the, the fuel trims here really aren't doing anything more, it, they just pretty much give up. Now, we have isolated this issue to a certain computer. So a lot of times this is gonna happen on an E40 or early E38 computer, like this GTO here. So you're basically looking at any car that's from 2004 to 2006. When you install a very large camshaft on those vehicles, what happens is the misfire counters start picking up on the lumpiness of the camshaft, and when the misfire counters get triggered too much, it'll put the system into open loop fault, which is exactly what you're seeing here. So if you go a little bit further, this uh, particular vehicle actually eventually goes back into closed loop normal, but this is still an issue that needs to be addressed. So now what I'm gonna do is show you how to fix this issue for a camshaft inside of the editor. So if you're having an open loop fault issue and you've checked your vehicle mechanically to make sure that you're actually not having misfires and it's just being caused by the camshaft, what we're gonna do next is head into the editor and we're gonna actually have to desensitize or turn off some of the misfire counters. Now I'm gonna show you exactly how to do this. You're gonna to go to engine diag, and then under the engine diag section, and let's keep in mind this is for the vehicle that we are tuning, this 05 GTO, but under this engine diag section, we're gonna to go to misfire. Now there'll be a couple tables underneath here, and basically what these tables are saying is, this is the maximum amount of time that has to occur between events to declare a misfire. So what you would do if you're looking to essentially desensitize or turn off the misfire counters, is you'd come in here and you'd start maxing out this table. Now you'd see that a lot of this table, this particular table, the revolution mode normal, is maxed out at a lot of the lower RPMs, but it's got some area in the higher RPMs that can be maxed out. The idle table is set up very similar, but it's got a lot more area in the lower RPMs where it's gonna be picking up misfires. So basically what you would do is you'd come in here and you start maxing this stuff out. So you'd set it to 32,000, and not 32 exactly, but 32,000. And what that's gonna do is, is it's essentially going to stop looking for those misfires because it's got so much time between the events that it's really not gonna pick up on any. Now keep in mind, you have to make sure that you are not actually having misfires. If you come in here and you just turn these tables off, the vehicle's not gonna really be able to know if you have misfires. So you, as a good mechanic, have to make sure that your vehicle's not misfiring before maxing out these tables. I hope everybody enjoyed this video and that you learned something from it that you can use in your day-to-day -day tuning. For more high-performance tuning knowledge, make sure you check out thetuningschool.com, follow us on social media, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. And as always, stay tuned. Hey guys, hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Also, check out our other videos. And if you're interested in any tuning products, check out our website.